Well, hello and welcome back to Edwards Air Force Base. We're going to take a quick T-38A flight today uh, from Edwards to Miramar. Miramar, of course, made famous by the movie Top Gun, where the uh, Top Gun school was. The Navy has since moved that elsewhere. Miramar is now uh, Marine Corps Air Station Miramar. Uh, but we're just going to do a ferry flight today. You can see I have a backseat passenger. The travel pod is slung under the fuselage here. Uh, we're full on fuel, uh, so basically assuming maximum gross weight allowed on the T-38 here. And uh, of course the T-38A has no GPS, INS navigation, anything like that. So this is just going to be strictly uh, radio navigation from VOR to VOR or TACAN station to TACAN station. So I've done just a little bit of planning today to try to make a flight plan so that we actually find Miramar successfully. Uh, so we're going to leave Edwards here, uh, runway 22 left and just take a little turn to the uh, to the left to take us to the Palmdale uh, VOR, which is a short distance away. We then travel out to the coast to LAX, and from LAX down the coast to the Mission Bay VOR, uh, and then from there Miramar is just inland of uh, MZB Mission Bay. So that's the plan. Uh, it should be a reasonably quick flight. I suspect, depending on our climb rate and everything, uh, we'll probably climb and then we won't actually hit the uh, the optimal cruise altitude, so we'll probably just climb and then when we are close enough uh, we'll just start descending and see where we end up. So that's the plan. Uh, the plan is often not what actually happens when I'm in charge of the aircraft, so we shall see. All right, so we're hooked up to uh, the ground cart here, providing us ground, air, and power. Uh, go ahead and close our canopies here and jump into the cockpit. So first things, uh, we're on ground power. We'll go ahead and get our battery power on. Test our fuel and oxygen gauges. Oxygen is zero. Looks good. And we should be, yep, about uh, full fuel. So the boost pump's on. And the generator's on. Turn our oxygen on. And let's go ahead and turn our radio on and get our engine started. So I'll turn the beacon light on. And we'll start the left engine first, make note of the time, push the starter button, 14% RPM, we will go from off to idle. There it goes, engine one. All right, now it's stabilized. It's been 30 seconds since we initiated the first start, so it's long enough to start engine two. Watch for 14% RPM. And move the throttle to idle. And there's engine two start. stable. So call the crew chief to stop the ground cart. Disconnect that. Turn on our yaw damper. Flaps down to 60%. Uh, speed brake should come up. Set takeoff trim. Good green light. And anything else we need to do? Yeah, well, we'll turn on our, our transponder. And looks alright. Navigation 
set. Okay, so after we leave... Uh, let me just check my chart here. So after leaving Edwards, we'll just make a turn. Uh, basically, we'll want to pick up Palmdale Radial 189. So Palmdale is channel 92. which looks like we can pick up from the ground here. And then course one, eight, nine. Dial course around. Too fast. No. One. Nine flaps are set. That all looks good. Let's set our temperatures. We should be ready to go. All right. So we'll put our Position light on. Landing taxi light on. To engage the nose wheel steering. Uh, move the wheel chocks. And get the show on the road. So we'll taxi around. We'll take uh, this left up here and then a left onto the taxiway. Let's do a brake check. Brakes are good. On the taxiway, they'll take us out to runway 22 left. So my barometer. There we go. Enormously unrealistic ground friction in flight simulator. It's always been a problem. down to the end. Is in real weather, real world rather weather today from Active Sky Next. Uh, also flying this real time, uh, so it is a little bit after. 1 p.m. local, which puts us at uh, a little after 2100 Zulu. So the weather here at Edwards, uh, 17 degrees, 2.0 degrees, 3 knot wind, uh, 0 9 zero. friction is crazy. That's pretending we were stopping because we didn't have a runway crossing clearance. Okay, so cross runway to to right. Uh, 
Uh, so back to the weather. Uh, Barometer 3013, visibility greater than 10 miles. And... Let's see... A uh, few clouds. 25,000, but pretty clear aside from just some wisps. Okay, pre-flight here, we will turn the PO heat, flaps are at takeoff, everything else looks good. Line up 2-2 two, two left. Alright, nose wheel steering off, brakes on, we are ready to go. So, no power, engines are stable, brakes off, and get through afterburners. Flaps up. Turn. Back to mill thrust as we approach three hundred knots. We'll try and climb at 300 knots up to 10,000 feet. off now that the gear is up. California desert here. Still try and maintain 300 knots. Above 10,000, we will pull on my climb schedule. Uh, we can actually accelerate to 400, over 400 knots. Still climbing. Let's 
intercept the radio. Okay, we're at 15, so yeah, let's try and hold about. Now we'll just continue climbing about this speed, because at 15,000 we should be at 400 knots, and then our speed goes down as we climb from there. So I'll just average out what the climb schedule is supposed to be. Okay, so that's flying over Palmdale. We now want to take... Uh, actually, we can just keep flying on 189 for the actually get back on that radio. Close enough to it anyway. We can actually climb faster. I'm sorry, I forgot to turn off track IR. Um, 20,000, we should be down to about 377, so roughly on our climb schedule. Okay, so what I'd like to do is pick up the LAX VOR, or attack end in this case, which is channel 83. And on that same, yeah, 189 radio, we are. now on the two side of that radial, so just fly out with 35 miles to go to LAX. Reasonably nice day looking around here. Expecting an airspeed of about 350 as we cross through 25,000 feet. Pretty smooth skies today. Last time I was flying around this area up here, it was incredibly bumpy. It's nice to see it smooth for the moment. So out. Uh, toward the coast is where we're heading for the flyover of LAX. And then we will turn southeast to come back in down the coastline to the Mission Bay VOR. Cross track air, we're one dock away from the radial now, so we don't want to be descending. out there of our news. Alright, I'm going to try and level off at about 30,000 feet. Too aggressive on that. Let's 
smallest control inputs really affects the climb here. Okay, let's see if we can somewhat pull this altitude. I still can't really trim this for level flight, but it's awfully close. Okay, so uh, we're about to fly over the LAX VOR. That means we want to turn toward Mission Bay, uh, which I believe... Let me go over to my chart. So that will be the 123 radial outbound from... That's the actual flight direction. Is that how it's actually defined on the chart? Yeah. We'll say 123. Whoa. I look at the chart and we start diving. That's what I'm talking about. about I can't really trim this thing very well. Okay, so. Uh, course 123. And let's a bit too far, but that's okay. This is quite the aggressive turn. Okay. Let's turn in a bit more to actually pick up the radial we want. Hazy cloud layer of the coastline here. Okay, so we are heading on the outbound radio. Let's switch to the actual mission bay. Attack on just channel one, two, five. Just continue to follow this radial, which is now going to be the reciprocal, but it works out the same. So this puts us 73 miles out from MZB. Now if I look at my descent chart, I'm at, well, let's call it 30,000 feet. Uh, maximum range descent, which is idle thrust, is 240 knots. Please stay level plane. Uh, 30,000 feet, drag index 0, requires 50 nautical miles to descend. So we're going to see if that's actually the case. Um, so ideally, I think Mission Bay is close enough to Miramar that if I'm, there's roughly a pattern altitude at Mission Bay, uh, we'll call that a rough target. So in just a minute, even though we're going down a little bit now, we'll try to start descending. Okay. 
Weather at Miramar, uh, winds 320 at 10. They have a runway 24, so that's the one we'll take. Uh, 24 right. Okay, let's go ahead and start the descent. So I'm going to pull the throttles back to idle. There we go. Theoretically, let's see what happens here. So I'm going to try and hold level until our airspeed is 240 knots. Then I'm going to nose down to keep us at 240 knots. Turn in a little bit since we're nearly on the radial. <coughs> I'm not doing what I've said. I haven't let it fall to 240 yet. Slow down. Pitch up to speed off. Okay, so we're coming up on 240 knots. So now we should just continue to trim down slightly. Let's see if we can maintain zero. to keep us at 240. Just making slight adjustments to then see if the speed catches up. miles to go, seems pretty reasonable at this point. very floaty right now. Interesting without any engine power. You definitely feel the whim of the air around you. Twenty-eight miles to go.
So once I fly over the VOR, it's actually the uh, mission bay is a little bit south of the field, so we would be turning back up to the northeast. Uh, at some point, of course, you know, ATC would take over. We're pretending like we're on an IFR flight plan here. ATC would take over and vector us around. Uh, so I will just do that at an appropriate point. You can even make an argument that flying all the way to the VOR and then turning in puts us on uh, a good base leg, probably a little bit far away from the from the actual runway, but we'll just we'll play it by ear. Okay, this is actually holding 240 on the descent uh, really nicely at the moment. I'm going to mess that up by actually attempting to turn back toward the... station. this up too badly. It's 10,000 feet. Take a quick look outside. We haven't really done that on the flight. Do I have? There we go. Descending toward San Diego. Sorry, I'm adjusting my chair. Getting ready for landing. Sort of center. Okay. Seven thousand feet, twelve miles to go. Yeah, As a rough guide, the descent chart was correct. Imagine that. Ah, so I believe that is. Air Station Miramar, right there. So we're going to circle around and come in and land on 24 right. that let's level off here at 3000 maintain 240 knots throughout the rest of this. Okay, let's turn. Be 
speed, so it doesn't think we're trying to land yet, and noise with the landing gear alarm. Okay, let's descend. So, even before GPS, you were able to fly somewhere we've never flown before just by relying on radio navigation aids. Imagine that. I'll start setting up for landing. I'm going to go... Let's see. Pull off the power a little bit. Here down, flaps 60. Uh, more power. Okay. Should be good for landing, except we'll take the last stage of flaps when we're on final. too much because there appears to be this mountain, well, hill ridge. I shouldn't really be climbing at this point, but I haven't really mastered the descending turn on the final without falling out of the sky in this plane. Put my last flaps down. Did I ever shoot this? I hope not. <laughs> this is not a great turn on the final. We're obviously too high. Speed breaks out at this point. That'll help. Okay, speed breaks in. Well, that was not my worst T-38 landing by any means. Um, the only thing I really didn't like about it was I was you know, not lined up with the center line. But the touchdown itself was reasonably soft. Uh, we had a bit too high of an angle of attack toward most of the final section there, but that was a side effect of me trying to descend quickly while not picking up speed. So. It's not the most horrible thing ever. Okay, flaps up. Just speed brakes down for parking. And we made it! In one piece. Didn't get lost or anything. Let's get some fresh air over the canopy. Not sure where to park here. go back to these toward the 
these hangars, I guess. I don't think this is really a parking spot, but we'll just pull off into this little area. And park. Okay, wheel chocks. Damper off, uh, flaps are up, speed brakes out, we don't need hydraulics anymore, so we can kill the engines. Radio heat off, radio off. Boost pumps off, generators off. Don't need oxygen, don't need our light, turn our lights off. And battery off. Well, welcome to Miramar. Uh, we can climb down our ladder and hop outside. Take one last look at our beautiful T-38. Look at that. Such a nice looking aircraft from every angle. And we can hop out and enjoy the sunny San Diego weather. Well, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.